to the next speaker, and that is uh, Seher Taimur Khan. Seher is an education advisor at the Save the Children, with over 18 years of experience in addressing education and child protection concerns in collaboration with national and international organizations. At the Save the Children, Seher leads the education programming, utilizing her skills to develop and implement common approaches, such as building brains, ready to learn, and safe schooling to ensure the best outcome for children. And uh, Seher, uh, we'll be talking on Save the Children Approaches to Early Childhood Development. Say it, please. So I'll be talking about um, Save the Children's Common Approaches to uh, ed uh, ECD programs. We have uh, listened to so many speakers. We know already what nurturing care framework is. We already know what happens to the brain when children are not properly taken care of. Uh, we know that before fifth birthday, 90% uh, of the development take place. Um, a lot of things have been discussed so far. So I'm going to talk about how Save the Children has developed some of its common approaches to um, ch childhood development, and which, is, which are the proven uh, experience of Save the Children across 50 or more countries, where we have done different kind of researches and proved that these kinds of approaches really work towards um, saving children before um, their fifth birthday and uh, also uh, bringing education um, uh, outcomes to um, a better ones. So our approaches are um, based on some of the breakthroughs. So one of our breakthrough is survive, which says that no child dies from preventable causes before their fifth birthday, before 2030. So we really want to make sure that the world is a place where children are safe and protected. Uh, one of the approaches is called saving newborn lives. Nourishing the youngest is another one. And then treating children close to home is another one. And then under uh, learn, all children to learn from quality basic education is one of our mottos. So the building brains and ready to learns are the approaches that I'll be talking about. So, um, so first of all, uh, saving newborn lives. Um, if you just look at the, um, the number that is showing here that 46% of all children who die before their fifth birthday are less than 28 days old. So the first few days of child life are so important that it is important that if we do certain interventions, these children can be saved. So we, um, we have this approach. Uh, it has uh, almost uh, five uh, phases. First is before and during pregnancy. We make sure that we address maternal mor mortality and morbidity. We make sure that we give and provide care at the time of birth to skilled healthcare workers. We make sure that uh, essential newborn care in the first few minutes are most critical and are uh, there. So we make sure that hygiene practices, thermal care, and breastfeedings are ensured at the time of uh, the birth. We also make sure that postnatal care through home visits when, when the baby is at home. So make sure that there is no signs and symptoms of any kind of threat to mother and newborn. Uh, we also make sure that special care to newborn with complication is, has been given. For example, kangaroo uh, care is one of the ways that we use in these kind of approaches. Um, so um, if we go to the next uh, approach, this is for, uh, this is for children uh, under two years age, and we make sure that we are providing them with the most appropriate nourishment. It starts from breastfeeding, uh, exclusive breastfeeding from zero to six months, and then uh, onwards uh, providing children with the nutrition that they require, um, and also mother's nutrition and children's nutrition. And we have talked about how a nutritionist, uh, a mother who is full of nutrition and baby, grow better than uh, other child. And all, all under nutrition contribution to 45% uh, of all deaths under five years. So it's very important that both mother and child are healthy when, um, so this approach, infant and young child feeding, IYCF, is there, uh, save the children's common approach, um, which is very um, uh, useful. 
we have seen uh, good results. So in the next approach is treating children close to home, uh, integrated community case management of childhood illnesses. So we know that 5.9 million children are still dying from preventable causes every year under age five. Um, we make sure that we provide uh, care at home and close to home and not just that we make sure that government is responsible for providing those cares so a lot of advocacy uh, is happening when it comes to providing care to ch child and infant at home based facility uh, or closer to home facilities so this is a very uh, unique approach that we follow um, uh, after um, the child is born um, the, another learning approach that we used is building brains. It is for children from zero to um, uh, three years of age. We make sure that this um, uh, common approach um, underlies that we are working with caregivers. So building brain actually is based on play, early communication, and responsive care. We make sure that we train the caregiver to make sure the child is learning from even af right after birth, and the, ch uh, the caregiver is ready for the child. So this is how we do. We make sure that they are playing games with them, they are reading books, they are ta talking through pictures, making stories, and making sure that attachment, bonding, calming, and soothing environment is provided to the child. So this is our building brain approach, and the last approach is ready to learn. Uh, it's a very famous approach. We call it emergent literacy and emergent maths, where we uh, we work with children under six years of age, and we make sure that they are ready for school and ready for learning, actually. So we make sure that preschools, parents, community, and government to provide three to six-year-olds with early learning opportunities and foundational reading and math skills um, through early childhood care and development uh, centers and at home. Um, again, this has been um, a proven uh, uh, common approach, and we have uh, evidence from across um, 20 countries that children who've, who've been provided with ECD opportunities uh, through homeschooling or through early childhood centers, they are better um, earning, better persons when they grow up. So um, ready to run, focus on all these approaches. Emergent uh, literacy skills, talk about talking and listening, understanding print, and then knowing about alphabets and understanding sounds and words, and emergent math skills are numbers and countings, patterns, sorting and classification, uh, comparison, environment, and geometry. So um, th this also in involves an, a learning assessment called IDELA, International Development and Early Learning Assessment, uh, which is actually to identify children's learning levels at different ages. Um, so in Pakistan, uh, Save the Children has worked in across Pakistan in different areas. We have constructed uh, specialized ECCD centers in Balochistan, in KP. We have worked through community ECD centers. We have run campaigns like Everyone Campaign promoting breastfeedings. Uh, we have done piloting of literacy and numeracy boost programs. So um, these are proven approaches that Save the Children has, uh, has been using um, across the globe. And uh, uh, these are uh, the ones that I wanted to share with you are contributing to our um, nurturing care framework. So thank you so much. Oh.